Hello everybody, Bill Harrison here with Harden Power Systems. I would like to introduce you to the Cadet Mark I Armored Power Station. Um, this is a new device for us. You may recognize some of the, uh, uh, the, the characteristics or at least the appearance of the build as being similar to our Revolt G2 um, or, the, uh, or, the, or the Ranger product. The Cadet actually is, uh, I suppose, a big brother to the Revolt and the replacement for the Ranger. It is just about as much innovation, technology, features, and flexibility as we can fit into something this size that weighs less than four pounds. Um, the, the shell is a combination of, uh, of ABS and uh, thick PVC rubber. There's multiple layers within this device that, uh, that protect and, uh, and cushion the workings and the battery. Uh, it's definitely meant for real life. Um, uh, don't drag it behind your bicycle or anything, but it's going to tolerate some, uh, some abuse. Like most of our gear, it's, uh, it's meant to, to forgive the reality of, uh, of, of uh, daily life. The, the battery inside is a LifePo 4, which is a great chemistry. It's uh, probably our favorite when, uh, when the cost justifies the high-end chemistry and uh, the trade-off in performance is, is worth it. Um, it's a 10 amp hour LifePo 4, uh, user replaceable. The, uh, the user can remove these four Phillips screws, the end cap comes off, and you can replace the battery yourself. Although it's, uh, it's quite likely that you never would need to. Uh, LifePo 4, the charge cycles are uh, somewhere north of 2,000. Uh, charge cycles uh, for a given battery. It's very impressive. Um, probably the most impressive thing about LifePo 4 is the discharge curve. Uh, a battery like this will give you about 90% of, uh, of its total stored power at 12 volts or better and then drop like a rock. Uh, uh, that discharge curve is normally called a, a hockey stick. Um, it is very impressive. Do some research and you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, front panel of the Cadet, we've got uh, an intelligent power monitor and this is actually the same unit we build into our, our kind of our flagship product the juice box G2 uh, so this will keep track of amps volts and watts very useful if you're trying to be a good steward of power or just want to know where the system sits as uh, in terms of standing voltage um, and we've got uh, actually a, a built-in distribution block of Andersons. That's three Andersons that supply power. These Andersons are slaved to the master on-off switch. This front-mounted Anderson and this rear-mounted Anderson are unswitched. Uh, they're essentially always on, always available. Might be nice if you're using this on a bench and uh, you want the machine dark, but you still want to power up your rig. Um, we also have incorporated two 3 amp USB drivers. Uh, very useful. One of the things that people had said they wished that the Ranger had was, uh, was USB uh, uh, chargers. So each one of these is an independent power supply uh, that can put out a maximum of 3 amps. It's very powerful. You, you can very quickly charge phones and, and tablets and things. Uh, not to mention powering perhaps a small fan or a light or something like that. Uh, the Cadet has built into it a three-stage automatic charge controller and a three-stage automatic solar controller that's accessed through this DC port. Um, the Cadet comes with our standard wall wart. So you plug this into an AC socket and the voltage is global so it works uh, worldwide. And then in turn plug this into the charging port and you've got automatic charging and that is three stage so it's bulk float and taper uh, the machine will handle up to 60 watts of solar so you can plug in uh, a fair amount of solar power including of course one of our 27 watt panels and charge this machine in the field uh, you can certainly charge it while you're using it um, we've got uh, 
the stainless steel eye straps. Um, this serves a couple of purposes. You know, obviously it's going to protect this faceplate if the machine were dropped on a hard surface, but it's also a, a useful uh, tether point. If you want to put an ID tag, uh, just put a line to this, put a handle or a strap on it. Um, lots of choices. Um, rubber feet on the bottom for obvious reasons. Uh, and we also, whereas the Ranger had a, a leg that allowed the machine to to, to be tipped up on a flat surface. What we did with the cadet was we actually angled this front surface back and uh, achieved that desirable viewing angle without the additional parts or the, uh, or the, or the moving parts um, of, a, of a leg. Uh, what else? Um, the USBs have their own switch, which is very useful. That's, uh, that's going to eliminate any potential phantom load of the uh, USB drivers if you don't need them and you shut that off obviously they're 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 completely inert and they're not pulling any power um, I think that's about it uh, pretty impressive you know it's a uh, you're talking about a, a machine that that weighs less than four pounds but it is uh, it's 10 amps at 12 volts um, and also uh, happily the the battery is uh, is coming out of Washington State here in the US uh, outfit called Dakota battery uh, we could not be happier with what those guys are building um, it is a drop-in life pull for meaning that the the battery itself uh, allows you to use uh, infrastructure or chargers or whatever that uh, is is actually designed for AGMs so it's a very flexible uh, very nice um, battery technology and those guys are doing a good job of it so I think that's it. Um, we're in production now. Uh, we'd love to build you one, and I appreciate your time and attention. So once again, it's the new Cadet Mark One. Thanks, everybody. Take care.